dusk is approaching and I think it's time to do a mission. I thought I was in K mode. Wow. I think it's time to do a mission. I think that we need to do the bulb dog fetch one. I think that's what it's called. I know that you have to do this one at night time. So I figured that we would go ahead and try and get that done right now. Let me just show you a little bit of an update on the base real quick. Um, so not a whole lot. I just wanted to point out that now we have an industrial forge. We have the chemistry bench and then we also have the ammo crate thingy over here. And also I actually managed to pull myself a Mastercraft shotgun. I think it's like 211 damage on it. But look at all this freaking ammo. I love this thing so much. Like it just shows you exactly how much is in there and also turrets and stuff can pull from it. I don't know. I think that's my crotch. I think that this is just a really awesome thing to have an arc now. Um, and oh, by the way, I did actually go ahead and turn all of our mutagel that I could at least into mutagen and I only could craft six. So one lot for 800 mutagel. Unfortunately, to boost some creatures like the shadow main, you're going to need 95 of this. That is uh, that's that's a lot. That's a lot of uh, of mutagel that we're going to need to collect or just go for straight up mutagen down in the dangerous depths of Rockwell's butthole. But that is not what we're going to go and do here today. Let's uh, let's try and do this mission. Let's try and get down here if I can and we don't get stuck on rocks. Oh my God. Are you kidding me? The shadow mains get stuck on everything, man. I'm serious. All right, let's get down here. So I know that we have to at least initiate this mission in the nighttime. I don't know. Oh, what? Did you guys see that? We were like flying. That was awesome. All right. Maybe does this thing have like a weird glitchy thing like the Thyla? The Thyla has like a very glitchy thing. I'm sure most people have already seen that before. It's awesome. Uh, where you can pretty much just like float up into the sky. It's amazing. Anyway, um, so yeah, I know that you have to initiate this one at nighttime and I know that you're going to need to bring tranks and I know that it's going to give me a free net gun. But that's about it. I actually really don't know a whole lot about this one besides that. Although that might actually be this whole mission. So let's see. Oh, we got to go into here. So what is it is wait, what time is it right now? Is 830 not nighttime enough? What the hell? What time do I actually have to start this at? I could have sworn at one point it did tell you. Um, I don't actually know. It doesn't say anything. I mean, I don't see anything. Maybe nine? Nine's definitely night time enough. Oh my god, my time goes by really fast. All right, well, um, that kind of sucks. So yeah, for now it says none, which I assume is is like you know code for you can't do it. Uh, <laughs> like mission available. Surely it should say mission unavailable or like you know mission not ready. I don't. I don't even know. I feel like none is like not very descriptive. All right, what time is it right now? Okay, so it's approaching nine. We're almost getting there. And can I initiate this mission at nine o'clock? Let us see. None. What? Maybe past nine. Okay, so it's like one minute past nine. Wait, what? What time does it have? Oh crap. Okay, well, I don't want to do the alpha one. All right, so apparently we could do it. It's just, oh, now it says mission available. Oh my God, this game sometimes, man. Ah, all right, so let's try and do the gamma one. I have heard that this one's actually pretty difficult. So um, yeah, we're just, uh, we have a super long timer though, for some reason. Guys, go ahead and do me a favor. Hit the like button if you find yourself enjoying this one. I definitely hit that button and it totally did not work. But there we go. Um, yeah, let's uh, let's try and get this one done. So I have my little shadow main here, although it's not very little. And uh, I figured maybe it might help. I don't know if I could actually use it during the mission. This mission is one of the ones that actually does not take place inside of the simulation. So a lot of the races and stuff luckily do not take place in the real world like this they kind of throw you into like a simulation or a different part of the ship that is not populated which is great so um unfortunately the hunt missions do not do that i'm pretty sure oh i guess the stego is going to join us on this mission these, oh. um, uh especially randy <laughs> what i can get some useful <laughs> samples. what they're randy oh my god all right we're well, going up this way uh, I didn't read the actual description of this mission. It's, what is happening today? All right, Gamma 3. There we go. Awesome. So, yeah, apparently all these bulb dogs are randy. Let's see. Let's see how this works then. Um, oh my god! Look at the size of those footprints. These bulb dogs are clearly randy and packing. Oh man, all right. Let's see. Let's, uh, let's get in here then. So, how many footprints am I going to need to get? 89 in total. I, that might be the total amount. Oh, here we go. Uh, oh my god, I can hardly even see the bulldogs. What the hell? Why are these hexagons so gigantic? So I know that we're gonna have to protect them from creatures. I can hardly see anything though They need to decrease the size of those hexagons, man. That is uh, that's a little too much um, Is there even anything else here attacking? 
Oh, I see a raptor tail, but nothing else. Seriously, what the hell? They need to actually decrease the size of them. That's a little bit silly, right? Am I the only one that thinks that? Probably not. All right, so first things first. Can we net these guys initially, or do we actually have to trank them? We cannot net them. Okay, no netting. Uh, let's see. Let's try and trank it out. So this is my rifle right here. It's uh, 212 damage. And we got normal darts right now. I'm not at the level where I can make shocking trank darts, or maybe I am, and maybe I just haven't even tried yet, which is probably more likely. I think it's 80 something though, right? I think it is. All right, so this one, is, oh, we gotta net it now. Okay, so I get it. We have to stop knocking down trees, buddy. Ah, oh my God, where the hell did you even come from? Um, oh my, nice okay, work. there we go. I'll set this one aside for analysis. <laughs> the freaking dealer just came out of nowhere. It's just was like behind the tree. All right, let me go ahead and power punch his face. Oh, are you seriously not dead, buddy? Uh, okay, get away. Yeah, stop it. No. All right, you know what? Power punching is so much better. Oh, that's the net gun. Apparently, whenever I hit Q, yeah, that's just going to pull out the net gun instead. All right, well, great. Let's see. Can we get another one done? Oh, apparently, we only have like 30 seconds left. What the hell? Um, can we get this done? Probably not. This one's just standing still for some reason. All right, so 220 damage is what we're doing. That, my rifle obviously doesn't do that much damage normally, so clearly that's like boosted for the mission. I might actually be able to get this one done. We have 10 seconds left though. All right, net it. Nothing but net. There we go. We got you. Oh my God. She is knocked cold. Look at that. Oh my God. All right, let's get this thing reloaded. My shadow main's like ready for everything right now. It's in freaking Super Saiyan mode. All right, what are we doing now? More tracks? Oh, here. Okay, let's start back here instead. Um, alrighty. So, definitely way too many things going on on the screen. Like, we have the gigantic hexagons that take up half the world. Um, and then we also, you know... Oh, here we go. Then we also have, uh, just, you know, freaking, like, the right side of the screen is just taken up by all the little torpor bars, which is fine, but it's like... I feel like it's a little too much. Just me? Probably. Um... All right, let's start tranking then. Oh, I already had my rifle out apparently. Boom, there we go. I don't know why it's standing still. I like that, I mean, that's nice. Reload, please. Re reload, oh, okay, I hit Q. It's just out of instinct. Hitting Q in this mission specifically will pull out the net gun, so. I hit Q to like put it away and then take it back out, but I guess I could have hit five twice. Um, here we go, all right, well, that thing's ready. Let's hit Q now, that? there we go. I'll set this one Let's try and get this analysis. one. We have a minute left, so I might be able to get two more if I'm lucky. Let's try and go for this one because it's by itself and it won't get mate boost. Because I'm, if it get if it gets like mate boosted, we're we're gonna have to like you know deal less damage and it's gonna trank out slower. And I just feel like this is probably gonna be the better option for us. Now it is mate boosted. We're only doing 147 or something. All right, let's see. And oh, yeah, it's gonna take one more now. Great. All right, there you go, buddy and reload because we might as well do that and net gun boom nice awesome I'll set this 42 seconds for left uh let's go for this one and a uh, boom nice we let it and why how is this one mate boosted there's like none nearby over here all right well i'll take it i mean apparently it's mate boosted i will play by your rules arc so here's an idea okay these bulldogs seem to be quite tanky could a super high uh, melee Equus be a good idea for this? Would it be? I think it probably would actually. Oh, is that gonna get up it by itself? Probably not. And boom. Nice work. I'll set there we go. Yeah, so analysis. would a really good Equus be like a good idea to have for this mission? I, I kind of like the idea of that. That would actually be really fun. And right here we go. So I'm wondering, cause now it's already like 12 o'clock. Does this mission end at some point? Or... Looks like you've picked up a trail. Okay, where are we going? Uh, oh, what? The, they were like right on me. What the hell? Um, so yeah, like if you have to initiate this at nighttime, will it end if I, if your nighttime is too short? I think I increased the the length of days on here, but I'm not sure if I decreased the the like length of nighttime or whatever. I can't remember. I definitely did something. I don't know exactly what it was though. Let's see. Let's go ahead and destroy these freaking megalosaurs. I almost called them Megalodoodles. Uh, we got a Megalosaur over here and a Raptor. We gotta try and use our ult, actually. I keep charging it up and then we don't have it. All right, well, there we go. Um, let's do that. 
if you uh if you just tap right click by the way it's gonna show that icon on a certain creature and then you could just jump to that creature uh like that except it didn't actually show it i just jumped immediately to it all right i think we're good right i think we're good all right let's try and get this done we have a minute and 24 seconds i thought it was gonna run that direction but apparently it didn't so we have what is that like seven more bulb dogs i counted that right yeah okay yeah no we're, we're good we're good um <laughs> i thought maybe i miscounted and i wasn't looking completely and i missed a dart great all right here we go come on oh, that one didn't count that freaking dart no all right so uh, like we do have an hour but i'm just worried that if it gets to a certain time in the day it might actually like end or something or maybe i'll have to like wait till night time again i don't really know I don't know how that's all gonna work all right this one's no longer mate boosted that's good now it is apparently weird all right should be able to get this one i don't know if we're gonna get another one after this though probably not they just knock down everything they run into um i was told to bring a crossbow for this one because apparently sometimes they can spawn in the water that sounds what awful that? what attacks I'll them then sharks or something houses. maybe i don't even know all right, where's the there's my shadow main oh my god there's like one all the way over here if i only had like a little bit more time right now i would actually probably be able to do that but unfortunately i do not you know what actually maybe having like six or seven track rifles and you could just cycle between them would be a good idea oh, all right let's go ahead and destroy this where are we going What's that over there? what where Looks like oh here trail. uh let's go back here and grab these ones just in case you never know you never know I know they are going this direction, but you never know. And there we go. Did I grab that one? All right. You know what? It's fine. You do know. <laughs> All right. Let's see. What do we got up here? They're probably about to spawn in here somewhere. Oh, there we go. All right. We have our ult. Let's use it. Because once we use that, if we kill things... Oh, my God. The increased damage in this mission is insane. If we use uh, the ult and... Oh, kill things like I should have just there um then it charges it up fully again so here we go this guy stands still we're gonna start targeting it we got two minutes now actually i feel like is that more time or did i just kill everything so much quicker this time all right come on are we about to teleport oh wait no we would have already teleported i guess i just never noticed all right come on stop being mate boosted stupid randy bulb dogs all right we got you god reload reload there is a super something that helps with reload what speed right i don't know what that one I'll is i feel like that's like um shadow stake or something like that or battle tartar uh let's see wait was i hitting this one or the other one yeah no it was this one okay cool just need to make sure and rifle's broken and i hit q just out of instinct all right we're probably only gonna get um like three of these ones done in this lot and boom let's do that let's take some stuff off the screen because it's just way too way too much it's too much information my eyes are starting to hurt but like what are these hexagons though like why are they so big like i mean you know like it just it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me all right we gotta probably tech run oh my god i, I can't even put that away there we go yeah whenever i hit q it's just like net gun you want a net gun no you don't want a net gun all right never mind all right, we can probably get this one then. Um, here we go. No, I'm not dealing with the bugs right now. I'm just gonna try and get this guy. I'll just take the, I don't, I don't care. We're just gonna take the damage. Um, come on. Leave me alone. There we go, we got you. Nice work. Sweet. Oh, uh, do you think I could get another one? I might actually be able to. I might, cause if this one over here is not, be oh wait, no, probably not. What the hell just happened there? What was that? Oh my god, go away, bugs. Never mind. You know what? Where's my shadow main? Over here, right? Dude, they're like, they're both over here. I just, I know I can't track them out quick enough. And there's no point of wasting the darts, because, like, they don't give you darts. You have to pay out of your own pockets. Times it. It's, uh, have to. I should scan this. You should scan this. Uh, what are we doing? Oh, here? wait back here okay so probably this way um very confusing all right let's see oh my god my guy is super weighed down 
the hell? I'm just killing megalosaurs. I guess we're collecting up like a bunch of hide though. These things are insane for collecting, by the way. Um. Oh, here? Okay, there we go. And we got, we got enough time. We got enough time to do this for sure. Provided I don't kill these guys. I'm pretty sure that you can. So watch out. Don't accidentally kill your own, um, almost called the Megalosaurus bulb dogs. There we go. All right, let's try and get this done then. Here we go. Last two. Should be able to do this. What time are we rocking? It's just like, I'm super worried that that mission is going to end if we get to like daytime. But like what, what is considered to be daytime? Because if nighttime's considered to be like nine, then like daytime's probably like maybe four or five. We definitely have enough time, but just Looks I'd be fun. wary of that. I'll set this one aside for analysis. Definitely would be. Because like it doesn't make sense that you'd be able to do this into the night. Just in my opinion. Um, all right, let's uh let's see. You know, one thing I'm kind of curious about is the net gun, because it's got unlimited nets, right? So can I use these nets to net other creatures that are not in this mission? That could be definitely exploitable if you can. I don't know if you can. I guess we could try. And unfortunately, I'm just incapable of hitting this freaking bulb dog. There we go. We got you. And the last. Whoa, my God. It just immediately shot. When we pulled it out, it like moved. Nice Shut up. I got it. I'll set this one aside for All right. What are we doing now? Can I net like random <laughs> things? I found something. Wait, what? Synthesizing oh, we did it. Get your own in it. Where's my guy? Hey, we did it. So we got to collect all the Randy bulb dogs to get my creatures to become randier. And we, we did that. Amazing. All right. What do I actually get for that? Um, uh, oh, I got a bunch of gnats. Did I, do I have my net gun on me? I don't think I do. I don't think I do. So I wouldn't have had my net ammo then, I guess. I don't know if I actually did or not. But now I have 80. And I know I had around 30. So we might have gotten 50 or this full 83. I have no idea. Uh, everything else kind of sucks, though, if I'm going to be honest. Like, what? <laughs> what is this loot? I know it's just gamma, though, by the way. I'm just, I'm just messing. It's fine. I'm not actually complaining. You'd know if I was complaining. All right, let's see. Um, so yeah, that uh, that was a nice little mission. Um, I'm glad that they didn't end up in the water. That would have been awful. But yeah, let's uh, let's head back to base. Wait, my guy has a level. Okay, kind of misread that. You know, I really want to see what like boosted speed on a um, shadow main is is like. Oh, actually, have a little look at the uh, the nice little like green dots that we have here. I really like that actually, like the glowy bits. Definitely would kind of like maybe, I don't know, like a yellow or something would be really nice for that. Oh my god, it's so dark. And also, these guys get stuck in absolutely everything. All right, let's see. By the way, about uh, about shadow mains, I guess, you know what? We have lots of time uh, left for this video. So let's actually breed our shadow mains. Let's just, let's get them bred and see if we can get a mutation on our very first one. We're probably not going to be able to, but let's go ahead and breed them anyway. I want to at least get myself... An imprint. What the hell just happened there? <laughs> what? Was that a jump? I don't even understand. I want to get myself an imprinted shadow main. So yeah, let's uh, let's just breed them out. See what we get. I hope it's gonna be a male. I definitely prefer the males. Even just like looks wise, the males just have so much extra detail. Well, not detail, but like stuff on them. I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. Like they have the feather stuff around the legs. They've got like the fins on the back. They've got the giant mane. There's just so much better looking is what I'm trying to say. Plus their their secret like extra ability is a lot better as well. Like the roar is really nice. I do have to say, I do like the invisibility thing and the fact that you're able to just make your whole army invisible. But at the same time, it's not that useful when you're not playing PVP. I do see the uses for it. You know, you could probably like bring your whole team down and, and try and steal some rock drake eggs or something, but not here, obviously. But um, yeah, I don't know. Could be kind of interesting uh, for that type of stuff. But for me, just like playing by myself here, it's not the most interesting ability. So definitely want the males. Curious, can they do it while they're sleeping? <laughs> Look at this. Oh, oh. There we go. A little bit, uh, a little bit of cuddling there. Should I get some music on or something? All right, let's uh, let's go ahead and get you guys mating then. Does this work while you're sleeping? I don't think it does. No, no, it doesn't. Obviously. There we go. Yeah, look at that. Now they have the thing. Oh, they'd already started. Okay. Well, clearly I was interrupting something. 
Um, yeah, look at these things. They look so cool, but like the male's totally better. I mean, yeah, I don't know. I also, I don't know. I kind of feel like the, uh, every male I've seen so far has kind of looked a little bit more colorful. I, I feel like that could potentially be a thing as well. Like they'd have like, I think in arc, isn't there some sort of like built in thing where males are just more colorful anyway. And the females can sometimes have better stats or is that like just a myth? Cause there's a lot of myths in arc. So that could also be a myth, but maybe it's not. I don't know. Let's also actually breed the, um, the L, uh, what you call it's these guys uh, oh you guys you're already on mating Ooh, okay let's uh can i do that there we go let me just move you up to the female so yeah i've been breeding the direwolves trying to actually get the stats together but just can't really manage to do that right now uh which kind of sucks but whatever we'll get there we'll get to that point um anyway so yeah these two are mating and we're gonna have to wait a little bit until they're ready to poop out the baby although now actually how do i look at the buffs is there a way that I can look at that? I don't know if there is unless I log out or die or something, but you know what? I know that one of those buffs was like the hatch speed, which is basically the same as like gestation. So yeah, I think, um, I think that it should probably gestate quicker for me anyway, even though all my rates on here are buffed anywhere. They're not actually insane right now, although we'll probably turn them to the insane breeding rates that I usually use on my servers, by the way. Oh, there we go. Nice. One minute, 23. Awesome. Um, by the way, all the rates and everything are now in episode one. I definitely forgot to do that before that episode went out that I said I would do that at, and then I did it later on in the day and got a bunch of comments about it. But don't worry, you can go ahead and check out all the rates for the server on episode one's description. Um, okay, cool. So, yeah, we basically just need you to be ready. So let me put you to sleep then. Have a little sleep, and then you'll poop out a baby at some point. Uh, are you still pregnant? I don't know if you are. You technically are. Okay, wait, wait, wait. 50-ish seconds. Let's do that. Does it continue or does it stop? Because we don't have the pregnancy meter anymore. The gestation thingy. So let's uh, let's also just turn you guys off of mating. Um, we're, oh my god. The things just keep flipping around. I hate that so much. When you're like a certain distance away from the creature, like sometimes the options disappear and reappear and it's just super annoying. Alright, so there we go anyway. Let's, uh, let's just put you over here. You can just fall asleep now you've done your job mate you can uh, you can have a little rest are you pregnant it's hard to tell where's the baby gonna come out of then i mean obviously somewhere here but like it's laying down so does that count is that like the same but sorry you okay oh you know what let's put you back to sleep see where the baby comes out of now i don't know this could be like a thing it, like shoots out oh there it is oh it just popped straight out what is that uh, that looks like a male uh, and i can't get it um I could get it a second ago. Oh, you know what? No, 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 no. I got a good idea. Uh, do I have it in my inventory? I want to show this off. Oh, crap. Okay, hang on. Hang on. Where are you? Where are you, Milkshake? I know you're here somewhere. I think you're over here. I think I put you away while we were doing that mission. I think that you're somewhere, like, in here. Which one of you is Milkshake? Uh, let me just... No, you're not here. Where? Where is my Milkshake? Okay, here we go. Sweet. So yeah, I want to actually show off this little feature because I haven't showed this off. And obviously, you know, when I make the videos, as soon as the DLCs come out, it's great to like try and figure things out. But at the same time, a lot of things don't get figured out. But watch this. So I have not claimed that baby. Boom. There we go. Now we have. Amazing. So it's a very useful thing. Did we have a direwolf poop out over here? Oh, no, you're still gestating. Okay. Huh. Why, um... Did I really start this, like, way after? I might have, I guess. I don't know. All right, well, there we go. We have our little baby shadow mane inside of my dude here. Wow, it got terrible levels. Or did it? I think it might have. Let's wait. Can I access it from here? I can. Okay. I mean, why did you come out as a 2 for 5? You must have gotten all the bad stats or something. Actually, I do need to try and just compile all the best stats from my creature so let's actually go ahead and turn you onto a feeding trough oh god that's so horrifying oh look at it it's squirting straight into the basket that is not appropriate now i know a good amount of people were kind of saying come on attack like mature up and whatnot in that video where we taped up the maywig and i and i noticed all of these features but at the same time like i know this is natural but it's just really weird in arc like somebody somebody escaped these nipples and then somebody designed the milk to come out of them 
you know, just you have a little think about that. Um, I don't know. <laughs> oh, all right. Let's uh, let's wake you up there, mommy. There you go. You can breed again in 20 minutes. So we'll just breed one out for the moment. I just kind of want to see what a baby shadow mane uh, looks like, but then also imprinting one. And that is a male, but it doesn't have all the best stats. Let's go ahead and pick up this one as well. And a boom. Very useful. Honestly, like, that may not look like it would be that useful, but trust me, the fact that you can just pick up babies like that is extremely useful. Sometimes, you know, the baby is, like, stuck inside of, like, the creature and you have to, like, move a bunch of things. And if you have your creatures organized in a way where, like, you know, you don't necessarily want to keep moving them because you might have, like, a breeding pen, being able to just go up and hit C and just pick up the baby like that, it's just so handy. So, definitely enjoying that little feature. Do I need to actually have food inside your inventory? Probably. We probably should. That could be important. So, let's go ahead and just grab some meat from you. Um, oh, yeah, we totally will be going for some mutations at some point. And like I said before, okay, here we go. It's totally, yeah, they're eating from from the, the Maywing, I believe. So, yeah, we're going to be going for some mutations on um, on the Shadow Mains, and we will be probably naming one Sinba. Um, I want to just correct the record. I, I think a couple people didn't really understand what I was saying. I'm saying Sinba, S-Y-N-B-A, not S-I-M. I... -I like, a lot of people were like, why don't you just name it Mufasa? That's such a better name. And I'm just like, guys, guys, Sinba, as in Syntac. <laughs> I don't know. I guess maybe I didn't explain it very well, so maybe that's my bad. But anyway, um, for, for now, we're just going to dump all of our armor and crap in here that are not blueprints. I don't really have a better place to put half of this stuff. <laughs> it's just a massive dump. All right, let's just add to this mess, and uh, then we'll forget about it for the moment. Um, We've got some nice sickles here, actually, which is great. So I'll keep that one on me. And we got a shotgun. And I think that's everything important. Um, did I have this GPS on me? I feel like I might have. All right, cool. So let's uh, let's have a little look at that shotgun that I got. I don't think I showed this off. So where was it? Yeah, 211 damage. Pretty good. Let's actually grab up some ammo and just see how much damage this thing actually does. It's not the most amazing shotgun, but like I got it for free. So you can hardly complain. Um... Let's see. Oh, by the way, the freaking Strider. Oh, my God. This thing is so ridiculous. It's so good. It's honest. What the hell? Is that Diplo attacking my Strider? Obviously, it can't push it. That's interesting. Huh. I didn't even know that thing was, like, they don't do damage, uh, Diplos. So if, like, one smacks beside your team, don't worry. You're fine. I definitely had tons of comments one time a long time ago about that. But, um, yeah, uh... They, they just, I guess they can't push striders, although it doesn't look like it's getting pushed. Anyway, yeah, this thing's insane. Like, look at this. Wait for it. Boom. And then we just, we just basically just turn the head. Uh, okay, well, we can't get that one there, apparently. But you know what? I'm, like, there's just so many resources here that we're gathering. I don't even have to go off and, and collect or anything like that. Um, these resources are all just regrowing as well. Uh, a lot of people were trying to, like, point out the fact that the strider can also, like, uh, move your materials straight into the dedicated storage. I knew that. I just didn't really feel like it needed to be mentioned in the video because, well, I mean, you know, uh, I don't have dedicated storage just yet. So let's actually go ahead and grab up all of these narco berries. So yeah, these striders are just insane. I have so much fiber. I don't need any of that. Let's just, uh, let's just leave all that. And let's test out the shoddy. How much does this do? 16 or 69 67 I, I had different things on my mind clearly from these randy bulb dogs yeah 67 damage is not a bad amount per pellet so i like that actually obviously this one is going to be a pretty good shotgun although is it worth killing that guy probably not let's uh let's use our other strider for that uh, oh i think we're too close to him yeah he's too close to me never mind all right let's uh can i hit him with this yes i can it's kind of annoying that you don't have, like, a better view on the Strider. I gotta say, like, this whole view thing actually sucks on the Strider. <laughs> they need to, uh, they need to do something about that. Because, like, aiming it, like, even aiming it at things, I don't know. It's just, it's not great. Especially when they're right up on you like this. Uh, this is totally not worth killing. Because it's just gonna take, like, ten years. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep hitting it anyway. There we go. Let's push him back a little bit using that and then try to use the cannon. There we go. I actually hit him. Nice. It only did 180 damage, though. All right. Let's try and kill this dude. Pew, 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 pew. Look at that. Oh, my God. 
I really like this though. I just I kind of wish it did more damage Come on, buddy, and now it doesn't work for some reason which is super odd that keeps happening Boom. Oh crap. Oh, no, I hit what is that? What is that? Oh, you know what? Actually, I spotted something earlier. I would keep jumping from everything. I'm so sorry. I'm just so excited. Um, <laughs> I spotted something. Where is it, though? I don't have any carrots right now. I need to start regrowing all of my crops. Um, I don't know where it went. There was a 180 Equus around here, though. I saw it a couple days ago, and then I thought, oh, you know what? It's probably gone. But then I saw it again. So I don't know exactly where it is, but it's around here somewhere. So that's amazing. We uh, we got to tame up that thing at some point and maybe work on a horse that we can actually use for that mission. All right, how are we doing in terms of all this stuff then? Are you uh, are you feeding up the babies? Are you keeping them all milked up and whatnot? Uh, how is this little baby shadow man? How close are you to an imprint? Three minutes. Okay, so we're going to get this thing fully imprinted, fully grown up, and I'll see you guys on the first imprint. All right, so this baby is going to need some tinder berries. Let me go ahead and grab some out of my strider um just one. <laughs> oh, i forgot to use the narco berries to craft some more narcotic basically just trying to grind up the level right now we got to get up to 89 for that egg incubator which is definitely something that i want to have before i start doing a bunch of uh you know breeding and everything 80 percent. holy crap okay i need to look at the stats on my server <laughs> that's uh that's a little bit too much for a single imprint but i'll take it for the moment you know what that's fine what about the little wolf puppy? You know what? Actually, why did I even keep this? This doesn't even have... Yeah, it doesn't even have the good stats. Um, let's uh, let's bring it somewhere. Let's at least, you know... I guess give it back to the earth or something. You know what I mean? Uh, let's let's bring it and maybe like try and feed it to something. Um, oh my god. Oh no, no. I don't want to do that. That's too horrifying. I was about to say maybe we could go over to uh, Rockwell's Garden and find a Carnivora. Should we? I think we could. I think we should. You know what? Screw that. I'm gonna I'm gonna feed <laughs> gonna feed the baby direwolf to a carnivora if it will have it. I don't know if it eats babies. It might though. You never know. You don't know until you try. And this is what this whole channel's about: trying to find different ways to feed babies to things and and destroy babies. Um, all right. Let's. Uh, I want to at least put the shadow main back. I'm not bringing that thing with me. Uh, Oh, you know what? Wait, 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 wait. You can do it in here, right? Drop babies. Oh, that just drops all of them, though. That's annoying. All right, let's pick up from here. No, no, no. You stay there. You stay there, little baby shadow man. Look at this thing, though. I forgot to completely check this thing out. Oh, my God, it's so cute. Look at you. Look at you, you little guy. Holy crap. All right, let's, uh, let's grab all of this food and give that to you because you are going to need that. And I'm going to chuck all those narco berries away for the moment and then hit craft on it after when we're back. Um... So yeah, let's uh, yeah, let's just dump all that into there. All right, now we gotta look for a Carnivora. I don't, I don't know why I do these things, but we gotta do it. I mean, I said I was gonna do it. Now we have to do it, even though it's horrifying. All right, I see a Carnivora. Um, we might have to. I don't know if there's any bad creatures around here. Let's see. Any anything bad? Oh, what is it going for? So yeah, I haven't actually gotten killed by one of these yet, or even grabbed by one. I kind of want to try it, but like, people are saying that they just knock you out, though. Hmm. All right, well, maybe we can try that. Can I just make a quick sleeping bag? Let's see. Um, okay, that's not too expensive. We just need a little bit of fiber and just a little bit of hide, so I will need to kill something. Um... Oh my god, this is gonna be horrifying. So yeah, I'll quickly just feed the, the little puppy to it. <laughs> I'll feed the puppy to the giant carnivorous plant thingy, and then we'll uh, we'll get killed ourselves. Uh, it's a totally normal day in Ark, and of course we have some capros down here. You know what? This is a perfect time to test out the shotgun. Be best time if you ever ask me. They can't get me right now, which is great. We love that. We absolutely do. Um. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh wait, you know what? Hang on a second. You can't bowl of these things. Oh, I don't have my net gun. I'm curious if you can net them. That would be great, because you can't bowl with them anymore, because of some exploit, or I think, or something. I can't remember. I can't keep with, with all this stuff sometimes. But, um, yeah, I know that uh, you can't do that anymore. And, unfortunately, now we have you coming at me. Although, one hit seemed to kill you. Sweet. All right, let's try and kill this dude, then. All right, try and hit him before he jumps away. There we go. Sweet. 
And we're not too close to the thingy, so we're good. Boom. That's way more than I needed. Eh. And now we can't jump. Okay, hang on. Power punch. Boom. All right. Let's turn off the thingy. My helmet. Let's hold down R. This takes ages to pop up. There we go. Okay, so we got our little sleeping bag. Lovely. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and drop the baby. How do I do it? Is it C? Oh, wait, no. I think we have to go in here. Yeah, let's do it that way. All right, so, um, totally the most horrifying thing. I am so sorry for anybody who does not want to watch this. You can just skip ahead. Uh, let's see. Let's see how this works then. Are we good? I think we're good. If it dies, I'm not, like, if it dies by something else, I'm not getting another one. <laughs> All right, let's see. Oh, I also got to put my guy into passive. All right, is it going to target it? Oh, there's two of them. No, come on. Go for it. Really? Come on. Go, go. Oh, we shouldn't do that. Um, uh, You know what? It probably won't go for it, will it? There we go. Go after it. Come on. It's totally going to go for me straight away, isn't it? Ah, uh, ah. Uh! Oh, my God. That's scary. Hey. Tribute. Ah! <laughs> Tribute right there. Go for it. Go for it. Demon plant. No? Okay. <gasps> oh, no! It's gone! Damn it! Okay, well, we got out. Uh, so if you just... Oh, my God. I'm... Yeah. Okay. Oh, my... Holy crap! It's... Are you kidding? Oh my god, one quick grab and I'm almost at max Torpor. There we go. Well, luckily it's going down now. That's insane. Really? Okay, so uh, it didn't like, it doesn't like puppies. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, one quick grab and it just knocks you out. I mean, okay, my armor is just regular, like, you know, exo suit armor. So, like, I, I'm... I'm basically rocking tech gear that is actually technically hide gear in terms of quality and stuff. So maybe having better, like, better armor would be a good idea. Oh, oh, what the hell? What did I just grab? There was something there. Oh, I want to watch that properly. No, wake me up. No. <laughs> no. Why does it not want to eat the freaking direwolf, though? Come on. That's annoying. Yeah, that is, uh, that's crazy, though. It just knocked me out straight away up to max torpor. I mean, like, we're dropping, you know? But, yeah, that's, uh, still kind of insane. All right, um, Carnivora. Dangerous. Definitely dangerous. And now it's open again. Goddamn. Uh, all right, well, we're gonna be awake again. Maybe I can see if I can maybe get the dude a little bit closer than it could work. I don't know. It probably won't go for it, though, if I'm gonna be completely honest. Oh, it's probably gonna try and go for me again. Can you kill them? Because I know the dead ones you can harvest for, like, element shards or something, right? I've seen, like, tons of dead ones. I don't know if you can actually hurt them. How does that work, then? Can I... Maybe maybe you can burn them? I don't actually know. Um, yeah, no, you can't kill them. They do have, like, a health or something, right? I think it said, like, 100. Yeah, look at that. How the hell do you work? You look angry. You look so angry. Go in there, puppy. Go for... Go for some more. Ah! No! Okay, I'm actually gonna let it kill me, though. I don't want to just get knocked out. Um, is it gonna be able... No, it just knocked me out instead. Dude, come on! <laughs> really? Oh, you know what? I should drop all my stuff so I don't get... Yeah. Oh, my God. Why am I doing... That is, like, the stupidest thing I've almost ever done. I could have basically got my stuff stuck right where this Carnivora is. Because if I die... If I die, like, right under it, you know, it's just, uh Then I'm going to have to run right in and, and grab my stuff and get knocked out, like, 20 times. This was a horrible idea. I thought it would work, okay? I thought it would work. I guess it doesn't want to target the direwolf baby. Maybe Wildcard knew that I would do this. I'm going to just assume that they did. I have a pretty sick mind. <laughs> Somebody should put me away. Uh, yeah, I... I I'm kind of annoyed that they can't do that. That would have been really amazing, but I guess, you know what, it kind of makes sense, sort of, kind of. Although having a Carnivora just nearby your base that you can just, like, sacrifice babies to seems like a good idea. Yeah. All right. Well, um, 
It's gonna be a little bit before we're awake. Love that. All right, here we go. We're just gonna run straight away. Oh, no! Oh, you... Okay, let me just let it kill me then. Oh, that... Oh, really? There's no, like... There's no, like... <laughs> there's no, like, devouring, like, animation or, or something. I don't know. That would have been cool. All right, well, that's what it looks like to get killed by a Carnivora. Very nice. I mean, I do like them. Um, I just kind of wish that it was, a, uh, it was like, you know, gory or something. Um, oh no. How the hell do I get that? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Is the Carnivora hurt? Oh, <gasps> is it? Wait, what is that? Is that like blood on it or something? Oh, oh my, oh my God. It just, okay. We, this is our chance then. All right. The other one's probably going to grab me. Oh no, we're good. Wait, you know what then? Hang on, hang on. Let me see if I can melee attack it. No, oh, it got me. Is it looks like it's hurt, right? Or is that just me? It kind of almost looked like it was hurt. Oh my god, it like put me on top of it. Um, oh, there we are. Cuz I know in like, you know, in real life Venus flytraps, they, you know, they're not like an actual creature that like goes around and targets things. They have like, you know, the senses and then when something triggers those senses, they close. And whether or not they capture something, they're still going to close anyway and stay closed. Um, and they only have a certain amount of times that they can do that kinetic energy. So, like, I'm kind of wondering if this thing kills enough things, will it die? Or, oh, what the hell just happened there? So that's just something I'm curious about. I did actually have a little Venus flytrap that I bought at Ikea. It had, like, dozens on it and, uh... It kind of like just i don't think it died after a while but it just did it just pretty much didn't really do much um <laughs> things weren't very attracted to it so i kind of had to feed it occasionally although I, it was in an apartment so it wasn't like the best setting for it maybe i'll get a new one at some point and call it like jeffrey i'm flying away i did it are we good all right i want to know was it bloody or uh, was i just seeing things i guess i was just seeing things it almost looks like it's bloody. Although maybe that's the blood of its victims. This is definitely a cool concept for, like, you know, a thing in Ark. I kind of just wish that uh, we could grow them ourselves and use them as, like, base defenses. I don't know. Maybe you can. I just have no idea if you how to do that if you can do that. Uh, we should get back to base, though, because um, I'm going to leave the direwolf there, by the way. <laughs> we should get back to base because I am not capable of getting up this cliff. Really? There we go. It just took 10 hours. Um, I want to obviously make sure that I can fully imprint that uh, shadow mane and at this stage It's probably like fairly grown because we've just been sitting here unconscious for like ages. So yeah, let's uh, let's get back Oh, no, I flew into bad things. Oh, this is awful. I hate it. Get off of me Those aloes look so cool. Um, all right, let's get out of here. We got to go in this direction. I think yes kind of maybe Yes Alright, so I just realized something. I wonder if this is possible. I want to see if he can put these babies to sleep. Let's see. Does that work? No, you can't. Oh, so it does need another imprint. Oh, there we go. Oh my god, the noises that they make is crazy. Well, there we go. Fully imprinted Shadow Mane. Pretty awesome. Um, I think it had the lower melee stat. I'm pretty sure it did. It might have had the higher health stat because it actually looks pretty good. All right, so now we just need to wait for you to be fully grown up. And I'm still, I'm curious. Can we pick up the Shadow Man still? Yeah, we can. Look at that. People were saying that apparently you can't keep, um, you can't keep like big creatures like Gigas and stuff in this thing until they're fully grown. But I don't know. Shadow Man's pretty big. So it's able to go in at this point. Like how much was it grown? 50% ish? Let me just, uh, I'll probably just AFK for the rest of the time that this thing is growing up, but, uh, you know what? Let's, uh, I'll try and capture the footage of when it pops out, if it pops out, or if it pops out when it's fully grown. I don't know. Uh, either way, let's, uh, let's just wait for this thing to be done. Oh, there we go. Nice. So, yeah, I think it pretty much popped out when it was fully done, right? Pretty sure. All right. Well, anyway, yeah, there we have it. Our brand new shadow mane. Look at you. How different are you from your father? Hmm. Looks like you got like cool blue on the back instead of like a purple. Wait, is this thing mutated? Oh, I 
thought for a second it was. Oh man. Alright, uh let me let me just lift you up then. Boom. So I think the spots on this one are different color. Yeah, the spots on this one are orange and it almost looks like it has like a blue on the back. But does the red one have a blue on it? It might actually end up having some sort of blue on it. Hmm. Um besides that, I don't really think it's too different. It's fairly similar, like the fin color and like the back is kind of like blue. And I think that's the only difference. All right, well, cool. Let's, uh, oh my God, this thing is very fast. Oh, that extra 20% onto that definitely helps. Let's see how good this thing is then. Um, all right, here we go. We got a Stego that we're not gonna fight because Stegos are awful for testing out creatures on because of their resistance. Um, what do we have though? We have a Compi. Boom. One little shock to that Compi. Or, wait, what? I thought it was behind me. <laughs> Apparently, it was from in front of me as well. Cool. All right, let's see. Let's uh, let's get down here and maybe fight this Bronto or something. Boom. Love the jumps on this thing. All right, so... Yeah, this one's obviously not going to be as powerful just yet as, it's, uh, as the one that we've been mostly using, which is my male. Uh, there we go. Let's do one quick little shock. I like that actually. I like that you can just like, you know, pretty much double tap right click right as you're pointing at something and then just like double shock it like that. Or not double shock it, but you know, like shock it by double clicking like boom, boom. Instead of like having to like full on like target and a bunch of creatures and stuff like that. Could be really handy if like something's trying to fly away from you and you can just be like boom, boom, you know, and you'll just go ahead and do that. Uh, ooh, there's a freaking duck right here. I want to kill that. I want to kill these guys because I want... Um, that is not what I was aiming for, is it? Was that a fish? I don't know where that fish went. Yeah, I want to I want to get some organic polymer because we're going to need lots more polymer right now. Um, and it's kind of a pain to get, to be honest. So right now we have our hydration buff. We have um, an ult ready to go. And we have our imprint buff as well, which is obviously going to be very, very good. So let's see. It would be great if we hadn't gotten all the super good stats onto this one shadow main so we could full on test out our best stats right now. But this is pretty good considering I haven't actually leveled it at all. Like it's doing some really insane damage. So definitely appreciate that, Mr. Shadow Main. All right, let's uh, let's do a proper target of all the creatures. And apparently it's just targeted one thing. Okay, great. And a boom. Unfortunately, that was not enough to kill you. So I lost my old charge up. All right, let's see. Let's see about killing some more things. Um, let's see, there we go. Nice. I want to actually maybe kill this Strider. That's only level 66. We got another one up here. What level are you? 66 as well. All right, let's kill this Strider here. I want to. Uh, I want to kill it because apparently they changed like the death animation or something. I don't really even know. Oh my god, we actually. Holy crap! We hit the Strider with the ult. Usually that doesn't happen, so maybe they fixed it. I don't know. Wait, let's, uh, boom. Oh, I missed that time. Great. Okay. Well, that's just rude. Um, let's double tap. Boom, boom. And just do a little, quick little shock. And one of those. And we could actually probably grab some beaver dams after this as well. Sweet. All right. How close is this guy? Is he, like, rusted now? Look at his, uh... Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, that's it right there. Um, so the death animation no longer has them fall over, I guess. It just explodes them straight on, on the spot like that. Um, this is also a great way of just, like, getting up to places. Because, like, if you can find a creature to target, you can just go up to that spot. And also, my... Oh, my... You are a beautiful strider. You're just, like, jet black with, like, purple. Like, but it's not a super obnoxious purple. It's just, like, a little light lavender purple. I love it. Absolutely do. Let's, uh... Let's go ahead and kill you um even though i can totally tame you but i'm gonna kill you anyway <laughs> all right let's see you know what i really need to do i need to get a strider that has the radar on it i think that would be amazing for finding creatures come on and another ult and we hit it amazing and let's do a quick oh we got it okay amazing yeah so i kind of preferred the death animation before where they like bail over and, and explode but you know what it's okay <laughs> if they changed it if they needed to change it then i'm sure they had a reason don't worry i'll destroy these things after i'll just instead of trying to like pick up all the or drop out all the wood i'll just uh destroy them with my shadow man instead uh there we go boom i don't know if that gives any xp at all but it's worth doing just for the destruction boom 
All right, let's see. Boom. Just want to hit you. Nothing else. Screw you, Dillo. Got one of these for you. There you go. Enjoy. All right. See you in hell. And there we go. Nice. We got another ult going. Holy crap. All right. Um, we got another beaver dam here. Let's go ahead and grab that. And we got another one in the water as well. So maybe we could grab the two. I don't know if there's any more beavers around here because I feel like they probably would have come for me already if there was. Oh, there we go. Now they're coming for me. <laughs> All right, go away. Maybe that's not even a beaver. Is it a beaver? That might... Oh, no, it's a beaver. I was about to say that might have been a piranha. Um, ouch! Nice! Basically, one shot. Almost one shot your, your little beaver dam. Okay, here we go. And... You're dead. Sweet. Okay. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and destroy this one then as well. Let's use the alt on it. So, guys, uh, that is probably going to be it for today's video. We did the Bulb Dog Fetch mission. We uh, bred up some shadow mains, and uh, yeah, we, we checked out the corner four. Lots of things. So, if you have enjoyed the video, go ahead, do me a favor, hit the like button. And if you want to see more like this, you can, of course, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one.